Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and overview over a couple of my favorite sets that come out every year for the holiday season and you guys definitely expressed interest in these sets as well so I wanted to cover them. So they are two of the newest Fenty Beauty holiday sets. I imagine they'll probably come out with more. They usually come out with some little doodads but these are two major ones that I'm really excited about. We have the resting peach face set and then I kind of already broke into this one but this is the glossy posse fantasy foursome set. So I'm going to be talking about both, demoing both and all of that good stuff. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I love these sets that Fenty have come out with. And so many of you guys, when I posted this on my story, seemed interested in these sets. So I thought, I'll just film with them because they excite me as well. And with the Sephora VIB sale coming up, what, in less than a couple of weeks, I think that these are great sets to pick up during that time. So that's why I wanted to cover them, show you the swatches, all of that. I'm going to have timestamps for each set, but we're going to get started with the Resting Peach Face set. And by the way, both of these were sent to me in PR, but I would have bought these myself anyways because these sets, particularly particularly the gloss set I buy every single year. So I was really shocked to see this at my doorstep. Obviously my makeup is like halfway done, which is why my lips look like this. Anything else that is on my face though will be linked in the description box. So let's take a look at this Arresting Peach Face Cream Blush and Mini Gloss Balm Cream Duo. Now this is available on the Fenty website and the Sephora website, still available on both. Online it says this set is limited edition and it is $25. And it is a $31 value, but let's give ourselves 10, 15, 20% off. An even better deal it would be. <laughs> so this is a limited edition set with a full size Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush Formula, which is a very, very nice formula. And then a mini gloss balm cream. So this is the cream formulation, meaning there is no shimmers in it and it has a more opaqueness compared to their other gloss formulas. And brand new set exclusive peach shade. So this is a new color that you can only get in this set. I will say sometimes later on, Fenty will end up releasing these in individuals, but they haven't yet. And sometimes they don't do that, so you never know. So here is what the box looks like and then the back is going to have all of the information. If you do need to pause and take a look, it is right here for your convenience. So I'm going to pull these out, and these are hard to get out. I think you have to like... Oh, jeez. Okay, I got them out. <laughs> so let's start off with the blush because I desperately need some color on my face. So these are really small, but they are the full-size versions, the same size that you will get with the individuals. And I believe it's like $22 for an individual. You do have a mirror, very lightweight. So this cheek color has a 12 month shelf life. It is made in Italy and let's do the swatch. That's what it looks like and so you see it has some sheerness to it. Let's build it up. Really pretty if you like peach shades. Let's just put it straight on the cheek. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a dampened beauty blender first to apply this on one cheek. I prefer to use a beauty blender for this formulation, but I will show you with a brush. By the way, I do not have any powder on my face except just a little bit sprinkled under my eyes to set the concealer, but I do have a cream bronzer on. I don't find that this moves powder underneath, but I do like to just stay on the safe side. And if I know I'm going to use a cream blush, then I act accordingly like I did today. So this is nice. It shears out. As you can see, it's not too pigmented, but it's definitely buildable. That's a little bit softer. So let's use a brush on the other side. I'm going to use a BK Beauty 106. This is one of my favorite brushes to apply cream products with. I'm gonna get in there. And again, I would rather just use a sponge, but this does pick up more product because it's more dense, obviously. So it is giving us more pigmentation on this side as opposed to this side. 
honestly gorgeous yeah, a little bit on the nose so it does have a little bit of a sheen to it that i'd say is almost gold but it's almost imperceptible you can't really see it. it's not too strong but this is a gorgeous peachy color i purposefully went in with a warm eye look today to complement the peach cheeks it's bright but it's not too bright it's buildable with this formulation i don't find that it lasts the longest so you might want to maybe apply a little bit more or set with the peach blush on top but nonetheless it's a really great blush formula for creams. It's very emollient. I think it's a really good one and it's a very, very fair price, especially within this kit. So this, gorgeous. Okay, so let's move on to the mini lip gloss now. Like I said, this is the cream formulation, so there's no shimmers and it does have a little bit more color than the original formulation. So the color name is Peach Pout. It has a nine month shelf life and is made in Canada and it's so cute and tiny. Here's what the applicator looks like. It's the same as all of the others. Just so you can see, here's the pigmentation. So it's a sheer gloss nonetheless. You can see you have that pop. So I have on Kylie Cosmetics Kylie Lip Liner just to define my lips. Let me actually soften it for you though. It could be a little bit more true to color. <gasps> that pool's bright. Isn't that gorgeous? Obviously, it's a sheer lip gloss. It's not full opacity because it's a lip gloss. Mm. But this is right in line with the regular formula. It's going to look gorgeous over other lip products. We have a lot of other lip glosses to try out. But first impressions, demo. First of all, I love this blush color. I think it is absolutely stunning. And you can't tell me that it's not. This is a great blush formula. I would recommend maybe using a powder on top just to set it down a little bit to improve the longevity. But if you don't want to, you honestly do not have to. It's a great blush formula. The lip gloss is beautiful. I do not have a color like this from Fenty in my current collection. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend maybe looking into this if you're interested. Okay, now that this first set is done, I'm gonna set my face now with powder and we'll move on to the last lip gloss set. I've set my face. I've done my powder highlight. Feel refreshed. Time to move on to the set that I get really excited about every year. So I've bought this set for the past three years that they've had it. It's their glossy posse set. So this year it's a little different because you do get one full size lip gloss and then you get three minis. So that's a pretty good deal. I like that you get a full size. So this is called the Fantasy Foursome Four Piece Gloss Bomb Set. It is $38. Again, I love these lip glosses. I love to throw them in my purse. I think they're great touch up lip glosses. So these are always swimming in my purse from the previous years. I always get really good use out of this set, which is why I'm excited to once again recommend it for the sale. Mine's a little beat up packaging wise because I tested these shades in a live already. It's kind of hard to get these out, but uh, like I said, this is $38. Once again, it is limited edition and it says these are brand new exclusive shades. So all four of these haven't come out. I could be incorrect. However, the shades of the minis, I think are shades that are existing already. Let me pull them out. I think they're shades that are existing already, but it's a new formula, the fantasy formula. Now, she might have come out with this formula in the past, but I've never tried it. She describes it as a holographic formula. To me, they're just shimmery, and you can see kind of the shifts. So these three minis are the fantasy formula. I feel like the glimmery finishes in your lip glosses, you will like it. And then you have the full-size color. Let's try each of these on swatch them. So we'll start off with the full size cream formulation. It's the same formulation that was in the peach set. This color is candy milk. So love that you get a full size. So let me show you the color. Ooh, this is deeper than I thought. And you see it has a lot of pigment. I just wanted to show you it compared to the fussy color. This is the heat version, but it still is a cream finish. Here is what Candy Poppin looks like next to the fussy cream. The Candy Poppin is definitely a lot more poppin. So if you have at least fussy, it's gonna look very different. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, lots of pigment in the shade. This is a nice shade. I haven't tried this one yet, so. I think this arguably is probably the most pigmented shade from Fenty that I have. I love it. This is a great everyday color. So candy popping, everybody. I like it. Okay, let's try the other colors now. So we're gonna do Fenty Glow Fantasy. This looks a little bit warmer to me than the other Fenty Glows that I have, but you can see kind of like the orange and the pink shimmers shifting throughout. 
So this is what this one looks like by swatch. You can kind of see the glitters running through them. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera as well. Let me get closer. But there are some glitters running through the formulation. Let's put it on. And you can see the glimmers on the lips. Subtle, but... Gorgeous. See, I like the glimmery lip glosses. That's cute. On to the next. <laughs> we are going to do Champ Stamp Fantasy. This one is like a champagne color. So this one, you can see, has a lot less pigmentation. I think this one's going to be a lot more about the shimmers on the lips. Lips look a mess now. How do people do lip swatches? Ooh, this is going to look pretty over like a very nude lip liner. I love this one. I tried this one before and I loved it when I tried it that day too, but there's something about this pretty much clear gloss with the glimmers that's really, really special. Great for every day, can go over any color. So I like that one. So I'm going to reline my lips now because we have the darkest lip gloss. We have Hot Chocolate Fantasy. And do you guys see those like kind of purpley shimmers running throughout this one? So this one's gonna be the deepest one. I like that I can see those pink shimmers in the swatch. Here we go. It's not as deep as I thought it was gonna be because it is a little bit more sheer, but gorgeous. I'm gonna leave this color on because I feel like it looks the best with my makeup look right now. This is hot chocolate. If you couldn't tell, I am absolutely loving both of these sets. I think both of them are great. I think they are a great value, even without maybe getting it on sale. Like, I'd pay full price for these. I can't really advise you to pick one over the other because I think they're great. It just depends, do you want a cream blush and one lip gloss, or do you want four lip glosses? Both of these sets, I just wanted to share the knowledge, try them all out for you, give them a demo for you because they are fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you picking any of these up? Are you like me? Do you pick them up every year? And that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.